hey guys welcome to lockshin productions and today we're gonna make this um juice and a wine scene that i've created in blender and the reason i'm gonna make this um tutorial is because i, I, I want to make sure that you guys understand how easy it is sometimes to make these things and it's not as difficult as it looks the only thing is you have to learn the basics um of creating anything and making it look a little bit better for instance if you were to create um this wine glass here are the most important things to, to know is that you have to have at least a reference photo that you're going to use to model that glass and again you um, because this is the first part i'm just going to make it last and i'm going to come to the materials after so it might be a two part it might be a three part but i'm going to try to make it short i don't want long tutorials i just want to make them short this might be a little bit long because i'm talking now but i'm going to try to model these things quick very fast so the first thing that i think it's important is to get a, a reference of whatever you are going to make for instance how the juice looks inside the glass how the wine glass looks so those type of things um will uh, guide you into knowing whether you are getting closer or realistic uh, results so let's start first by talking about a glass when you are going to make a glass like this one you have to get a reference image so my reference image that i'm going to use is this one um that i got it on google and then I'm gonna make this one which is different from what I made if you you saw the picture this is different from this one because of the base here it's a little bit thinner than the one that you are seeing now when you look at this one here so I'm gonna make this one this time and then the next uh, is so it's important to have references so if you were going to make this it would be best to have something like this I might make one of these again just to show you what I'm trying to say so without any further ado let's get started with the tutorial guys okay now I'm opening a new scene in blender and I'm just going to uh, enable the screencast key so that you guys can see what buttons I am uh, uh, I am pressing as I go on to model you'll see everything will be showing here at the bottom left of the screen so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hit B to box select and then drag with a left mouse button over the items that I want to select and hit X and hit X delete so this is what I'm going to do um, you see now the screencast case shows you exactly what I'm doing so let's continue and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is hit shift A mesh and mesh image reference so I'm going to uh, put in the reference image that I'm gonna do so I put everything that I'm gonna use in this folder here so the first thing that I'm gonna select is this wine glass let me just make sure it's selected I don't know why it's responding so slow um, okay let's wait something is not working right okay there is it and then I'm loading the reference image there's our reference image and I'm gonna hit one to come to the front view oh Alt R. I want it to be uh, placed uh, just flat the way it should be by default and then rotate Y 90 actually let's see rotate X 90 so that we can uh, see the front um, of the glass because when you hit one you come into the uh, front view front orthographic view so this is where we're going to work so actually to make this one glass it might be a little bit too big i can scale this a little bit smaller uh, and oops, i don't know what my phone is doing yeah sorry about that guys and then now now that we are on the front view and we have our reference loaded let me just say shift a mesh plane i'm going to add a plane here and then hit tab to go to edit mode 
m at center i'm measuring the vertices at the center so i'm measuring the vertices at the center to create one vertice which is going to be the one that we're going to use to model that last so when i hit g you can see that this dot that is moving along with the mouse is the vertice that we created so i'm going to put it right on top there and it's important that you don't go away from the center point here uh, when you are creating whatever you're creating so that we, because we're going to use a screw modifier so that we don't screw things up here the screw modifier okay so i'm going to look, place this vertice here where i want uh let's say g i'm going to place it something like here and then i'm going to hit e to extrude x and then i'm going to go forward like that and then e again and then go down like so and then e x again and go backward like so and then e and then bring it down like so the reason i'm doing that guys is because of there is some thickness that um the glass has on top here so that it i think it doesn't break easily I'm just going to clip it on the x-axis a little bit and then extrude it again and bring it down. So as I was explaining, this uh, particular edge that you see, uh, the, this particular thing that you see I've created here, it's because I want to create that thickness of the glass up here. Um, so that's how I created that. So I'm going to box select this to uh, vertices now and extrude them down following the shape of the glass keep extruding when you think it's getting out of um, it doesn't have to be exact but if you think it's getting out of the shape of the glass you can just simply grab a uh, stop and extrude again but if it's still following you can go with it like for instance here now you see that it's a little bit out now it's going this way so i can grab this top one and bring it over here so that it, it because it, it looks like it's getting thicker going down like so that is the reason i'm moving the vertices um individually then extrude again and bring it down you can see that i'm letting the outer edge to be okay to to, to follow this outside and then but i'm just adjusting the inner vertices because okay now here it's not gonna work because of it's this one almost ends here you see it, it, it the inside of the glass has to come here now while this one continues downward so I'm just gonna select one vertice that I want to move and extrude it I'll extrude it here and then extrude one more make sure that it's almost aligned it's it's aligned with this center point here where the cursor is so that you can follow that um, nicely so i'm gonna extrude this one now i'm going to the outside one as you can see and moving it alone just uh just focusing on that outward uh, vertex so i'm gonna do that and as you can see i'm hoping you are, you are reading the screencast keys here guys to see what i'm pressing there if, in case i forget but i'm just keep keep hitting extrude and moving it where i want it to go and just following the shape of the glass like so i think it might be it's this is not the most quickest way to model at glass. i would do it differently but because uh i want to show you how to use the screw modifier here and uh, that's why i'm using this method here but now look at it now i got to the bottom of the glass now knowing that the glass usually at the bottom has a slight curved inward um, thing like that i'm no longer following this because this is for a complete glass but we are creating almost like the side of the glass one edge um, like maybe one flat um, two-dimensional uh, shape of a glass we are not creating the whole three dimensional so this part here will be created as we use the screw modifier that we're going to use that is why i'm just um doing one side because if i 
grab the middle mouse wheel and pad around like so you can see that i'm creating a flat thing you see it's all flat that is why um i'm just it's almost like a two-dimensional um, uh, figure of that class so let's see now that i have reached the center again at the bottom here i'm going to box select by holding down the left mouse button and going up selecting the last edge that i did in the inside of the class and the last edge that i did at the bottom here and say scale x and say zero that will make sure that this and that are exactly on the same line so because they are also selected you can zoom in and because they are both selected you can zoom in and grab them on the x-axis move them slightly to make sure that they are like aligned with this with the center of the cursor here because of this is where the origin is and you want it to start screwing to applying the screw modifier right on the center here so that it can be a nice uh, glass now that we have done that I don't want to confuse you guys of what I've just did I just went to hit tab to go to edit mode or object mode now I'm on the object mode and I'm gonna select this reference image and hit X delete because I'm done using the 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 reference so now this is what i did it's almost like a wire thing that goes around as the shape of the glass you can see that and this is how i and where i ended if i hit tab uh, if i select it and hit tab and come to uh, edit mode and hit a i'm selecting everything and then i'm gonna hit three here to come to the side view so you can see it's pretty flat i'm gonna see uh, hit s y and zero to make sure that everything is straight nothing um, no vertices is on the side for instance like so what i mean is i'm trying to make sure that no vertices is moving alo alone on the side like that that is why i was making um, selecting everything and hitting scale on the y axis to zero so everything is strictly aligned to the center again from this side from the this view board so now that everything is selected i'm gonna go to the top view you can see again when i pen with the middle mouse wheel you can see this is how it looks like so coming to the top i'm just gonna go to the modifiers add a modifier this is the modifier that we're gonna add that's going to uh, extrude this thing around and and create that last shape so let me just show you what I mean I don't know how to explain that but when I hit screw you see this modifier will create all those uh, vertices but then now the number of steps here is the steps that the modifier uh, Created. you see the lesser I go the lesser this uh, things becomes the higher I go the more it becomes a little bit more accurate in creating the glass you can see when I go really high it becomes more rounded than it was when it was on 16 but by default it was 16 here this is the glass in a nutshell now when I hit a tab you can see now this is the wine glass now when I come to the bottom of it you can see this is it's slightly curved in that's why I was making that particular curve with the vertices let me go to edit mode and just go to Z wireframe wireframe this curve here that goes like that it's the one that created that inner curve that bottom curve that goes inward like that that is why I was making that so now that we are done creating the glass um, I'm going to go Z and solid choose solid viewport this is what it looks like I'm going to because I want to complete this but this is just for modeling guys it's not I'm gonna I'm not gonna text chat on this tutorial because I want this to be short so I'm going to apply the screw modifier apply it you have to be on the 
object mode to apply you can apply it on the edit mode so now that i've applied it when i hit tab you can see now it's no longer like um, uh, a fake glass now like it was when before you apply the modifier you only see one edge that you created and the rest it's more like uh, just a representation of what the glass would look like but when you hit apply then it applies that thing and makes it real the way it is so because we have done that now there's something that happens that makes the glasses sometimes not look good is how the 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 normals are facing so normally you're gonna come here and hit um, face orientation it's supposed to look like this but sometimes you may find it uh, let's see control alt n no yeah alt n and when you flip it you see normals should never look like this they should always look the other way um alt n they should look like this then they are facing the right direction your normals are facing the right direction and when you texture it will look perfect but when they are facing the wrong way sometimes they become uh, problematic in shading so you have to always check that you just come up here and you check face orientation to show you which direction are the normals facing so now that we are done with that and we know that our normals are facing the right direction we can add another modifier to smooth this sharp edges here to make it smoother that modifier is subdivision surface when you hit that you see now it's making it a little bit more rounded but the level is one for the viewport and two for render so if i hit two now it becomes much more rounded now and it looks perfectly rounded now there's no uh, any sharp corners at all now this is the perfect way to create that glass and i'm not gonna apply this modifier for the time being but i think we are done modeling the glass this wine glass so i'm just going to go to the front view again and select the glass g and place it up here just moving it on this normally it's going to be the floor level of of the scene so i'm just moving it right there on that edge so that I, when i add the plane for it to sit on it will, they will all be sitting on the perfect place